and it's six and six. I'm Derek Winchester, and for the next six minutes ish, I'm going to help you study for the DevNet Associate exam or any exam for that matter. So, the most common way people study is they go ahead and they buy these certification books and they go ahead and they sign up for these subscription programs and, and hopefully go, consume all that material and hope it stick. That's, a, that's the equivalent of drinking a gallon of water one shot and hoping you don't all piss it out. What I'm gonna show you are some efficient, what well, is the efficient way to study for an exam, right? So we're just talking about exam preparation here, okay? So a couple years ago, I had the privilege of being a part of Cisco JTA, right? Which um, the JTA is all exams go through this process where they take a bunch of industry experts, they throw them in a room, and for five days, you argue and fight until you come out with one blueprint, right? So um, you look at a blueprint and you say, okay, wow, how do I study? How do I go about doing it? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do this, right? So I'm gonna show you the most efficient way to study for an exam and to understand how to study for an exam, which doesn't consist of spending a lot of money and a lot of time. So first, here's my legal team. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. Second rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. That was my NDA. So I'm gonna share a little bit of knowledge with you guys, you know, early in my career, when I first got started, you know, I didn't know if technology was for me, right? So um, I, I had the privilege of working for an engineer um, who gave me something, you know, some advice that, that has carried me throughout the years, right? He goes, there will always be opportunity in technology because most engineers do not like to read, right? Um, and I had to think about that for a second, right? Because, you know, here I am, the only way to survive in this field is if you're able to read and study, right? So um, after a certain amount of certifications, after a certain amount of time, I, I realized I had to start doing things efficiently, right? So uh, one of the most highlights of my career is being part of the Cisco JTA, which uh, we take it's, it's how the blueprints are put together, right? So you get sequestered in a, in a room for a week and you hem and haul, you flex and you argue, and at the end of the week, magically, it's not really magically, but magically you have a blueprint, right? So I thought the hardest part about that process, right, is determine if, you know, for example, if you need to know a wireless, if you're a collaboration engineer, or if you need to know voice, if you're a wireless engineer, you know, however, that wasn't the most difficult part. It was understanding to what degree a person has to know a certain technology, right? That we put on the exam topic, right? So let's look at the first one of DevNet Associate, right? It says compare data formats, XML, JSON, and uh, YAML, right? So <laughs> right out the gate, you say, okay, it's not saying how to be an expert in data formats. It's not saying here's some data write this in this format. No, it's saying compare. So it wants you to understand and be able to look and know the difference between XML format, which is tags, JSON format, which is key value pairs, right? And YAML, which <laughs> is YAML. It's human readable text with, uh, I would say spaces, emphasis on the spaces. So I'm going to walk you through some other look. I know this is not Jedi CCIE hooked on phonics, right? But again, I doubt that many of you even looked at the blueprint enough to, you know, put this together, right? So I just explained compare, compare data formats, XML, JSON, YAML, describe. How about that's a new one, right? So if I'm describing something, uh, in fact, common data format, XML, JSON, YAML to Python data structures. I don't even have to, you know, I'm just describing the methods used to parse data, which if you look over here to your right, you're going to say parse JSON using Python and it's going to point to a, a class uh, that's created just for that purpose, right? So it, it's not rocket science here, you know, it's it's going down, looking at your terms and, and, and narrowing your scope of the terms, right? And then 
using the reference information over to the right uh, that answers everything over to the left. Simple, right? Utilize is one big term that you're going to have to really drill down into because utilize, you're going to have to know get inside now, right? Get is a CICD uh, must. Uh, most of you are, <laughs> that's probably the only uh, uh, you know tool out there that's, that's pretty much going to save your, your applications, right, from mass destruction by other engineers. But it's right here. You're going to have to know that. That is a very important tool for you, right? And as you move up, the terms change, right? So I'm, as I go from uh, DevNet Associate to DevNet Core, and let's go over to my terms here. I just wrote these terms down. I do this all the time uh, when I study. I write these terms down, and I have them for my own reference, right? Not that I don't know what recognize is, but it, it helps me focus in on what exactly I need to, to know, right? Or how much of it I need to know. So Core, Implement and Construct. Whoa! <laughs> that right there is next level stuff. But you also know when you start going to core, you're going to have to widen your scope a little bit to look at, and use a new set of eyes to uh, look at the blueprint. No more of this by books. I'm going to go ahead and consume as much knowledge as I can. Oh, I didn't pass the test. I don't know why. I'm going to look at five more videos. No, you're going to look at where you went wrong off the blueprint. I wanted to spend six minutes out of my day to make sure that you guys study as efficient as possible. Free up your weekends, stop buying all these books, stop subscribing to all these video channels, learn for free. So with that being said, I hope I achieved my mission, which is <laughs> in it six and six. And you know what? Stick around for a few seconds because I'm gonna show you the funniest, wait, hold on, it's not even debatable. It is the funniest movie clip of all time. So, I'll catch you later. Morning, officers. What y'all, the second team? We're the first team. Yeah, we're not gonna fall for a banana in the tailpipe. You're not gonna fall for the banana in the tailpipe? <laughs> I'm tired. Like and subscribe and hit that bell. You know that bell right down there? Hit it. I'll see you next time.